All right, in this video, you're going to learn about 10 things that you're going to want to know about Athens, Alabama when you get here. Hey there, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about Athens, Alabama, the living, the working, the eating, the playing, the good, the bad, the pros, the cons, we do it all right here. Hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, and you will be notified on the next video. I'm Darla Bunker, I'm a local realtor here in Athens, and we get calls every day from folks just like you wanting to move to Athens, Alabama, or the Huntsville area. So if you'd like to have some information on that, send us an email, shoot us a text, send a little carrier pigeon, we don't care, however you'd like to communicate with us. We would love to help you find a new home here in Athens, Alabama, or the greater Huntsville area. So let's get this thing rolling along. Number 10 is the Old Time Fiddlers Convention. That's held in the fall, it's a two day event. Has musicians, vendors with crafts and foods, and you're just gonna love it. If you love old time fiddling, you'll wanna come and watch the convention. Number nine is following that convention of the fiddlers is the Storytelling Festival. And it takes place about a week or two after the convention and you'll just see this big, huge circus tent set up in the middle of the square downtown where we will have storytellers from all over the country entertaining you with wonderful old time stories that you're not going to want to miss. Okay, now number eight is the Richard Martin Rails to Trails. That's a 10 mile distance between Vito, Tennessee and Athens, Alabama. And it follows the old L and N rail line. So it's part of that National Rails to Trails program. When you um, get into the Elkmont area, you might want to stop for a lunch break right there at that Red, Bo Red Caboose Cafe. Okay, now number seven is Eli's Block Party. Now that is hosted by a nonprofit organization that raises money for childhood pediatric cancer. In the fall, they do a Superheroes Day and they sponsor a bunch, a lot of the car shows on the square. So that is to help fund the childhood pediatric cancer. And they'll also do other shows and events throughout the year. All right, number six, recreation for all you outdoor folks. Athens has seven parks, three that have playgrounds, and we have the recreational center that has the municipal pool and all the sports ball fields for baseball, soccer, softball, basketball, you name it. The rec center also sponsors different teams and leagues, so there's plenty to do for your young, younger kids. And then for you golf enthusiasts, we have three golf courses in the area. One is at Canebrake Club, which is a private club. Another is at Joe Wheeler State Park, which is public. And then we also have um, another location in the north end of town, which is called Southern Gales. All three are really nice golf courses for uh, the golf enthusiasts. Then the other thing we also have is fishing for you boaters. Oh Lord, do we have the fishing? You've got the Elk River where you have boat access ramps all along the Elk River. Plus we have the Tennessee River where you can put your boat in at Lucy's Branch Marina and fish to your heart's content or enter any number of the tournaments that are uh, sponsored throughout the year. Okay, something new that's come to Athens is number five, which is the craft beer scene. We now have the recently opened Athens Ale House, which they serve up some craft beer and wines and offer charcuterie boards. So that's really nice. You can sit and sip or take your drink to go. We also have Limestone Legends Billiard Hall, which is a family billiard hall, but they also offer craft beers. They have low tables for seating and they will have some live music from time to time as well. Athens is expected to get an official craft beer brewery coming to town sometime this year. More on that later. Okay, number four, which is Fridays After Five events. All right, these events are sponsored by the Athens Main Street Group, which is a nonprofit group based to do the revitalization of downtown Athens and see that the town grows with different uh, events throughout the year to bring in more people from around the county 
to show uh, what, you know, the city of Athens has. Now, Fridays After Five starts our summer concert series, and that runs from seven to nine. You can bring your chairs and sit out in front of the courthouse and listen to the music, or you can stroll around the businesses because they'll be open until eight o'clock at night. And we have our arts and entertainments district, so whatever beverages you buy, uh, alcoholic beverages, I mean, then you can kind of stroll around those designated areas without any, you know, issues. They also sponsor throughout the year other events. They also sponsor the, um, the Saturday markets where our local farmers come in and sell their produce. They also sponsor in February the Chocolate Walk where the different businesses either make their own chocolates and use those um, to give away to the people who are coming around to visit their businesses. And on the holidays, as far as Christmas goes, we have the Sip and Cider event, which is right after the Christmas open house. So it really gives everyone a chance to come into downtown to experience and see what we have to offer on the square in Athens. All right, number three, the Polk Salet Follies. All right, you're probably puzzled as to what this can be. This is an annual dinner theater performance that is uh, sponsored for the Foundation on Aging to uh, help uh, bring in some money for services for Meals on Wheels and that type of thing. But the Polk Salet Follies is one of the highlights of this spring's events. That's where different business leaders and politicians and just anyone who wants to take the stage and put on a skit to entertain for the evening for the group. It, it is just, it's a fun thing. Everybody's making fun of different people or different things. And it's just an, an enjoyable laughing evening with the dinner provided. So you wanna at least get a chance to um, get a ticket for the Poke Salet Follies. Don't wanna miss it. All right, now on to number two, and that is barbecue. All right, when you come to Athens, you're gonna, or even at anywhere in Alabama, you're gonna to wanna to know that there are choices of barbecue sauces that you never really had ever heard of before. Alabama is famous for their white sauce. So that's just basically a, uh, a mayonnaise-based type sauce, but it, um, it bastes the meat during the smoking of it and just captures all the moisture and it's really um, a great uh, difference. Alabama barbecue or Southern barbecue is just a little different if you're from up north. Um, I know I was from Maryland. I'm not used to getting my barbecue, my smoked meat del uh, delivered to me without being sauced of some sort. But uh, the sauces are available for you to use. There's the um, North Carolina vinegar based sauce also and the uh, sweet barbecue sauce that maybe some of us from the north are more uh, accustomed to. But anyway, you will have an experience of trying different barbecue throughout North Alabama and take even the barbecue trail. All right, number one of my top 10 things that you're gonna to wanna to know when you come to Athens, Alabama is football, college football. Okay, there is a huge rivalry between Auburn and uh, Alabama universities, and it's been going on since 1893, and they play on Thanksgiving Day, and that's called the Iron Bowl. But as soon as September rolls around and football season starts, you're not gonna get anyone to do anything on a Saturday afternoon other than watch Alabama football. So get ready for that. But besides Alabama football, people really take the high school football into big consideration around here as well. They are, you know, um, lots of local teams at all the high schools. They get um, airtime on TV from the different highlights of the games. And it's taken very seriously because, you know, the folks here that want their kids to go on to uh, Alabama or Auburn and they want a football career, that's where they're going to start. And that's where the where they'll be recruited from is from the high school teams. So football season is really big here in Alabama. I hope you enjoyed that top 10 list. And if you have any questions about the top 10, feel free to contact me anytime. All right, now hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you'll be notified when we do our next video. 
I'm Darla Bunker and I'm a local realtor here in Athens, Alabama. So if you're thinking about a move to our area, give me a call, send me a text, email, even a little carrier pigeon. We don't care however you'd like to communicate with us. We want to help you move all over North Alabama.